Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we finally have a comeback from Bandit. I believe that's how you pronounce it, right? I remember... I, I don't know if it was on this channel or my old channel, but I remember reacting to it with like, I think it was Hocus Pocus, Dumb and Jungle, may have been more, but I don't, I don't really remember. Um, and I thought they were about to like disband or something. I feel really bad for this group. Um, because of how long it's been, um, their views are kind of f like, so they have their channel views, which has a hundred, almost 200,000 from when I'm reacting to it. And then they have their their own company, I guess, still music. And then that has forty five. And I think no, okay, there's no one that can thankfully have like that'd be like three separate streaming. Like just put it on one channel. Um, I don't know why. I know like one the K is meant to kind of be a way to give them more attention for like smaller groups. But I always think it's a disadvantage because it splits views and then like if all those views went to the one channel, they'd have more views and it would still give them more attention. I don't know. That's my opinion. But I'm looking forward to it. It looks interesting. It's called Venom. Um, from what I remember, the songs I heard were a bit more fun. This sounds like it's going to be darker. Also, I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing, but the title definitely reminds me of Stray Kids' is Venom, which only came out a couple months ago. I don't know if that'll like, it doesn't matter very much, but I just think it might, I don't know. I love Stray Kids, but sometimes the fandom is a bit local. Um, so I wonder, I doubt they'll care though, but I just thought it was interesting. Um, I love that song by the way, so. <laughs> but let's just hop into you in the video. Oh, apologies. No, no subtitles. Mm. Oh, oh. Vocals. Love her outfit, love it. Oh, all oh, these outfits are giving me ooh, Everglow Adios vibes. Oh, they came back with a banger. Oh my god, this is really cool. Like, genuinely. Like, I'm not hyping up because it's been years. I'm like, this is just genuinely really good. And the editing. I like those spit, spit. I think that's what she's saying, right? Like spit, like venom. Mm -hmm. I love the lights in the black and white area. It's very pleasing. This is crazy. I really hope they blow up from this. Hey. Oh, this might be my, one of my favorite title tracks. Title tracks, clarifying, of a girl group this year that came out this year. Mm. 
I need to clarify that too. I'm trying to think of everyone who had a comeback. And I loved a lot of the girl group comebacks, but I think title track wise, only Idol really stopped me. Hey! Very Blackpink. In a good way, like old school Blackpink. A true bop. A true bop. Like, wow. Bandit kind of gives me what I wished from... Oh, I forgot the name of the girl because it's been a hot minute. The girl who left... Secret number, secret number. Like, secret number, it's hard for me to stand after one of their best members left. Because I wasn't that attached. Um, beforehand, like, wasn't that attached yet. So then they left and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll just hold off for a little bit. But, um, Bandit is giving old black pink mixed with, like, Everglow, which is two amazing things that kind of clash together perfectly. Like, the elements of what made black pink, in my opinion, really good until it kind of started getting redundant. Not their fault, of course. Um, mixed with what I really love from Everglow, which is like Everglow was one of I like this. Uh, this is controversial. Everglow to me was one of the first girl groups, at least in that era, like the fourth gen era, to properly withhold what is girl crush mixed with like cute looks. Like they weren't overdoing the girl crush to where it looks corny but mixed it well with like still being young and not too sexualized in my opinion like because of how young they were like they they i feel like to me they balanced it well it's been a while since i've like looked back then like i still listen to it but like watching i, I can't really remember the choreo very well to where like i'm like oh is that too much for them i think they did well with that and i think bandit i don't know how old they are I think they're a bit older than Everglow, um, age-wise, but I feel like they established a very strong, tough vibe while still being, like, feminine. Like, and I think it worked well. I, I like the outfits, I like the vocals, I like the, was it rapping, I guess rapping? I don't know, I loved it. I loved it, and it makes me really excited to kind of get into them a bit more, because it's been a couple years, uh, and to kind of properly re-listen to their other songs before i get into it. if they have an album or not they better have an album because like how are you gonna okay third mini album i don't think i listen to their b-sides so i think when i do the third mini album maybe i'll go back and listen to those if they have any um but i loved it this is i i have to really think about it i think it's my favorite um title track of a girl group besides tomboy controversial take i love tomboy tomboy is one of my favorite title tracks this year fight me but yeah i loved it loved it so much let me know what you guys think i, I feel like this won't get many views because they're kind of underrated but i loved it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye